Hello everyone and greetings from Serpent Consulting Services Private Limited. We are one of the leading gold partners with Uru and we have been in ERP solution business from more than nine years now. We have uh, served on our client base from more than 170 countries. As you can view from our website, we have been working on different number of business verticals to provide our clients from education, hospitality, retail, real estate, manufacturing, HR payroll, and many more. We are also one of the leading contributors to OCA, that is Udu Community Association. And we are a team of more than 80 developers, ERP consultants, and business development executives. We are also certified in version 12, version 13, and version 14 of Udu certification. We also have more than 450 different applications and modules available in our Udu App Store. You can also look at some of our applications there that are available in different number of versions based on Udu. Kindly drop your queries during the webinar in the chat box and in the comment area after the webinar ends. Let's first understand what Scrum and Agile method is and who can use it. Agile designing or development basically refers to the idea of iterative developments in which client requirements and solutions evolve through collaboration between different number of teams. And for Scrum, we can say that it is a part of Agile. It is a most widely used framework for development. So let's get back to our second question. That is who can use it? It is most widely used in software development or IT industry. Let me log in into my solution. Uh, when we log in into our system, we will be able to look at uh, our discuss portal. So let's wait and check that discuss portal. So here there are number of applications from which I'm going to our applications and here is our application. So basically that project Scrum Management Agile methodology, it has been created for three user types. The first user is Scrum Master who will be responsible for all Scrum processes. The second one is Product Owner and who will be having idea of our product from base level and the third one that is most important that is development team which will be creating the whole product uh, we have also focused on uh, different number of sprints with start date end date creating some basic meetings direct reviews of sprint we have also worked on its reviews product backlog is also a feature in which we have used a Kanban view. We have created, uh, added some details of acceptance. There are sprint releases involved. A feature of sandbox is also added to add uh, some user stories by our developers. The product owner can review and delete or validate those product uh, user stories or they can add them into our product backlog. We have also added two distinct reports of task analysis and project profitability report. So these are the basic features of our project scrum portal. Now let's go back to our project module. In project module, we are going to discuss about configurations. So in configurations, the first one is settings. When we click on settings, uh, under settings tab, there are options available on task management and time management. Under task management, we can select if we want to use some collaborative pads, if we want to add some multiple tasks under a single task, then we can see under time management, we can use forecast and task logs. So basically when we want to log some time on our task, we will be using task logs. When 
and this forecasts are basically used in our enterprise addition of pool so we can schedule some time across every projects to work on it correctly so these are the basic setting configurations uh, then comes project configurations under project configurations it shows all of the projects that are currently live or completed on the system under this user can create number of projects from settings also you will be able to view some basic managers or company details of our project here i have created one single project called demo project 1 so we need to select that particular project and it will show uh, what a particular project or details of that particular project so before we create a product project let's see it what are the basic features of our project so first we have to select this is it a scrum project to add it in our scrum methodology then we can add project development teams we can add scrum master details project owner details who is the customer of our project which company under which company we are using that project if we are going to log some time sheets on our project then we can add those details here here in another tab there is a goal under which we can add some basic goals of our project at the end of project which goals are to be completed uh, under releases tab uh, we can uh, add our release data of our our uh, basic releases of a project on which date that particular release started on which date that particular release ended what was the estimated time of delivery everything can be directly viewed from project details uh, there are multiple smart buttons available on the top right corner of project through which we can view time sheets task and if any task are created here then it will show it here in this task we have created in this project we have created five task so which will we be, we will be discussing in our next video uh, if we have added any attachment in our document then it can be also viewed from here if there are any backlogs added from the particular developer then it can be directly viewed from here the next configuration will be development team so whenever we want to create a particular team of developers we will be selecting that particular development team session so i have created here the project development team 1 so what we need to do we need to give that particular team a name we will be giving it a code and we can add number of project members or developers or any member to our team here i have added five different members in our team and we have created this particular team uh, then comes activity type section in which uh, we can schedule or we can uh, create number of activities for which we are going to perform some task on our project or on task then comes stages Uh, stages can also be configured based on your requirements so in which stage uh, that particular our project is going to be so we have here configured new analysis then specification design development testing done and cancel so these are all the stages that is going to be shown currently in our system so these are all the basic configurations of our project scrum portal using agile development now we will create project some task in that project and we will create some time sheet entries based on our task so let's go to our project module uh, inside that let's go to our project configuration here we can create a new project let's say i'm giving that project a name demo project abc okay so what do we want to call our task we can call it tasks we can call it uh, uh, iterations we can call them anything 
here we will have to select is it a scrum project first uh, once we have selected that is it a uh, scrum project then and then we will be able to add some project owner and scrum master details so let's create a team i am adding a particular team called project development team 1 i am adding scrum master as our project scrum master adding product owner let's add particular customer so let's search for a particular customer and add it now for visibility if we want we can visible show it to all of our employees only portal users or our invited employees here there is a company detail if we want to add the timesheet we will be able to select it here if we do not select it here then we will not be able to add any timesheet then there is this goal so after completing of our project user will be able to use this project very efficiently okay now still we have not decided any releases so we are not adding any data of releases and we are simply saving this project once we have saved this project we can add task we can add some documents let's add some of the documents here so i am adding document document one and creating that particular document here okay so i am adding one document here uh, we are not giving any description and we are simply saving this document so this document will be directly attached to our product project now let's create some task uh, let's go to our task and create some basic task let's say i am going i want those tasks to be login screen it will be done by developer one and i am adding that task once we have added the star that task it will be in new state now we are creating another task called registration screen design okay that will be done by developer number 2 okay so i am creating third task that will be back end design okay and it will be designed by let's say joe wills and i have added three different users for three different tasks now if we want we can move those tasks directly from here to another stage or we can go to those tasks and edit them okay so let's go to login screen here you will be able to see the basic details like project assigned to project now let's create a deadline I am creating a one week deadline here. Uh, let me add some details. Please complete login screen within one week. So it, you will be able to complete this one week. If we want, we can assign some 24 or 36 or 32 and whatever hours we want to, we can directly assign it directly here on planned hours if any a basic information or extra information it can be stored here in our extra info task if there is any tag we can directly add it here like it is a new feature then it will be a new feature tag now we are going to save this particular task and when we move to our tasks it will show that it has been edited on today's date or it is going to be completed on this particular date so this will show the deadlines if we want we can directly create activity from here we can send some message to the from here okay so let's create a particular activity so i am creating one meeting to discuss and details 
so we will open the calendar and we will create that meeting here and that meeting has been created so this is how we can work with our project and task outside that let's go back to backlogs if we want to add some backlogs we can directly add from here if we want to look at some timesheets that we will be able to look at from here also now let's go back to our main projects page uh, we can we can see all our projects from this project menu also so when we created that demo project abc it will be looking like this there are basically three tasks in which there is an action to be performed here okay so let's go and create one timesheet entry so i am creating one timesheet entry of today of developer one design ready it took me let's say two hours to design my login screen then added validations so it took me another two hours to add some validations so once we have saved those you will be able to see the progress from here also that this much progress is done on how much hours are spent on that how many hours are remaining from that task so this is how you will be able to look at all the task now all our and task then we see here we will be able to check who has added those particular design what was the description of our that uh, task timesheet how much time was added which project which task was that which particular analytical account was used and which user or developer added those task timesheet so this is how you will be able to look at your project task and timesheet we will look at how we can create sprint releases different sprints in a long cycle create and schedule scrum meetings and how we can use product backlog and sandbox so this is what our dashboard look like of our project now let's go back to sprint releases so in last video we created one project named demo abc so today we are going to start working on sprint releases so i am going to create one sprint release demo abc sprint release one sorry for the spelling demo okay so now what i am going to do i am going to create this print for one month so that will be from 26th may to 25th of june and i am going to keep the delivery time of this print 30th june and i am going to uh, put that particular goal as login and registration should be completely working and i am going to save this particular sprint release now let's go to <clears throat> edit and create our different sprints so sprint one underscore release one of abc i'm going to start keep its starting date from today and i'm going to keep its ending date exactly a week after that okay so that will be the first print of one week and what we will be doing we will be just simply login design complete the project is already created release is already selected i'm going to select the product owner and scrum master 
if there are any user stories or sprint reviews in between they can also be added here so i am going to create this particular sprint release and i am going to create a save and new now let me create another sprint release or uh, sprint that will be abc sprint 1 sorry sprint 2 release 1 so i am going to keep its starting date and ending date a week after our first release and in which we will be starting with registration design i am keeping product owner as the product owner and scrum master as its scrum master and it is general so i have created two sprints i am simply closing this we have added both the sprints and now i am simply saving this one so when we look at our sprints there will be two sprints created in that particular project so let's go at that look at this this is sprint one uh, release one and sprint two release one so to create one another sprint release i am going to create it from here so i am going to create another sprint that will be abc sprint 3 release 1 and i am going to keep its date 9th to let's say 22nd all login and registration issues to be solved so i have created that particular sprint as we are creating it from our sprint uh, so we will have to select our sprint and sprint release and projects so let's select product owner let's select scrum master and now we will simply save this particular sprint okay so this was all about our sprints so we have created some basic three sprints here and about that sprints we have created basic rules now let me go back to my scrum meeting i am going to create one scrum meeting for abc project and that will be first scrum meeting okay so i need to add that project details and let's say i am going to create sprint one release one as our sprint what happened during meeting let's say uh, login design was finalized what was done since the last meeting login design was checked and shown to client what is planning until next meeting in next meeting registration design to be finalized and shown to client for more information there is something that is backlogging if there is any we can write and if there is nothing then we can write any when this particular meeting is going to take place let's say it took place today so we have kept it for a one day if we want we can also keep, keep keep it for a whole day but we are not going to keep it for the whole day now if there are tags like customer meeting or off-site meeting or open discussion or feedback meeting let's say that was a feedback meeting and it was on client location okay if we want we can describe the description and if there is any sandbox details that clients wants to add that we can add let's say our client was deco addict so deco addict addison also wants details for login to be number and email id both for sprint one 
okay we can add that then there was another one douglas fetcher wants password to be alpha numeric with compulsory one special character so we can write like that it is also to be given in after at the sprint one release so we have saved this one once we save this we need to just confirm that meeting once we confirm that meeting the meeting details will be sent to all that master scrum master and product owner so they will be able to join that particular meeting and they will be also notified that, that when that meeting happened and its detail will be sent to them also so this is what we are doing in meeting now let's go back to sandbox when we created that particular meeting one scrum meeting demo in that we created two sandbox details so directly we directly here we have now sandbox details that deco addict uh, douglas fletcher wants password to be alphanumeric with compulsory special character it is for sprint one project who is the author who has taken when that particular date was taken which meeting was taken so we can directly send this particular to backlog now what we need to do we need to just simply demo we need to just simply select that release and we will be transferring that particular to our backlog now let's do that for the another task that is this one i'm doing that same for the both of us and that will be directly transferred to our product backlog when we see that particular product backlog here we will be able to look at what we need to do we here we will be able to see how many remaining hours are there how many uh, points are there everything details will be available here for which project it is there and which state it there is that particular backlog is here so this is how you will be able to work with your scrum and its backlogs now we also have some features of reporting based on our task analysis and project cost so let's go to task analysis when we open that particular task analysis report we will be able to understand all of the projects that are currently visible if we want we can remove some of the particular uh, products or projects from here okay we can view them in different number of charts that are available we will also be able to look at pivot view and chart view we also have some filters like if we want there is any assign task then we can filter that out like that is in research development task in that five number of tasks are unassigned and in after sales there are two tasks are unassigned if there is any task that is in new state okay so this task are all in new states in this particular projects so we can directly check that if we want we can directly check uh, based on time ranges like if there is any deadline task there in last seven days then we can directly apply there was no deadline task in last seven days so we are not going to look at anything if there are any favorites we can directly sell it if we want we can uh, particularly group it by projects or whom it is assigned to in which stage that particular tasks are we can directly view through the company also so these are all different number of filters we can also check measures here that how many works are there how many planned hours are there how many remaining hours are there so we can view that from here in another there is a project cost and revenue report if we have created our particular sell order for any of the uh, project then that particular details will also be added here whether that project details are uh, amount is uh, tax un untaxed amount is how much untaxed amount invoice is how much what is timesheet cost what is timesheet unit amount that was used we can all look at that here there are some basic uh, details that we will be able to look at okay so i am selecting all of the details and i am going to select by project so in this only after sell services is invoiced so that is what it are it is showing here 
in research and development phase there is a time cost of 800 so it is showing it here so this is how you will be able to work with your reports we are going to look at our portal so when we logged in and when we click on our particular website we go to my account here we will be able to look at all the details like project team burn down chart task stage spirit sprint hours and team workload so first of all it is of different account in last videos we created one project called website development so once we select that website development from here our project so we will be able to look at our project team that product owner is here scrum master is here which particular project development team is working here so let's go to that another tab here we will be able to look at whole team of our project that who are working that developer one is a team member developer two is a team member mutual admin is a team member product owner and scrum master all of them are particular project team members now let's go to this burn down chart in this burn down chart we will be able to look at our particular let's say sprints so i am going to select this login screen under which we have added some data so if we want we can check it in bar chart line chart and pie chart that how much data points are completed so on 29th of may this much is to be completed and on 28th of may this particular data was completed now there are task stage reports so here when we click on this chart we will be able to look at how many tasks are in which stage so there is basically three tasks that are in analysis base phase or stage there are one task is in design phase and one task is in development phase so this is how you will be able to look at all the task and its stage information here we can also check estimated and spent hours on our sprint so we have added data in our issue resolution sprint in issue resolution sprint uh, we will be able to look at how much data that estimated hours were 10 and currently two hours are spent so we can directly take our uh, let's say we can directly talk to our developer and ask them about our data related issues uh, then there is team workload so if we want to look at this team workload we will be able to look at all the team workload like uh, developer one is having total 20 hours of load uh, developer two is having 24 hours of load mitchell admin is having 10 hours of load the product owner is having 20 hours of load so this is how you will be able to look at whole team's workload from portal. Here we can also look at different number of projects that are going currently. So these are all the projects and here there is an task details. If we click on any particular task, let's say, then we will be able to look at what uh, tasks are there and in which stage that particular task is there. So let's go back. Here we can sort that particular by name project and newest project. So we are sorting it by newest project. When we go back to our portal and select our web development particular project. So when we click on task, now we will be able to look at all the tasks that are assigned or that are being done by this particular user. So Mitchell admin is an admin user. So he will be able to sort them by title, stage, product. He will be able to filter all the particular products based on projects. He will be able to group them by project, group them by stage, group them by none. Okay, so we are currently grouping them by project. So we can check in which project, which task is going to completely running. Okay, so let's see uh, here we had our Yes, these are, these are the basic tasks here. So let's go back to our home page. Here we have to select web development. Under web development, we will be able to select which are the sprint plannings are there. 
okay so in backlog how many issues are there issue resolution is one of the sprint uh, here created under which there is an request of login using em gmail is added so when we click on this login using gmail we will be having all the details of that particular issue here you will be able to look at all the issues how many tasks are which task is defined if there are any notes you can add those notes also once we click on this close button but then we will be able to look at all those screens after sprint planning there is a product backlog so when we click on this login using product backlog you will be able to look at all the data and under that there is another section of logging using gmail so when that particular task start date end date who is responsible who is going to be who has particularly added that detail who is listener every details are here added if there is any task assigned that will also be added here then after product backlog if there are any meeting then that meeting details will, will also be added here in currently there is only one meeting its details are here that it was based on project website development it was of for login screen sprint it was responsible who was responsible that was michel admin when it was taken start and stop date how much time is what was there then what was the summary of what happened during the meeting discussion of the design was done what was last meeting and what was the planning for next meeting and if there is any blocking then it can be added here if there are any attendees we can add those details here also so this is how our portal works after there there are time sheet also if we have added any time sheet that time sheet will also be shown here here which employee has added which time sheet they will be required that will be shown a developer two has added website development project time sheet for this particular task and that description will be shown and how many hours are added we can also group them by cell theme order we can also group them by product project so if this is a project so this in all the projects this is how it will work look so in website development this many particular let's say developers have added their details we can sort them by description new we can filter them by last month or last week okay so if there is any data sheet added today then it will be shown here in this week if there is any data sheet added that will be shown like this then if there is any sales order created or invoices are created they will also be shown here directly from that if that is an invoice it will be looking like this numbering if it is in draft uh, then it will not have any number and it will look like this so yesterday we created one invoice on base of this particular person but it is a zero amount so we are not going to show it regularly but if we look at this particular invoice in this how many uh, what are the products that are going to be added and how we can work with those products it will be showing and this is how uh, our particular let's say portal works uh, so that's it for today guys for any queries or demo kindly contact us at contact at the rate serpentcs.com Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notified about our latest products.